All the data's finished loading now, and I can see on the right hand side, here are the tables that we loaded. And when I expand these, I'll see the same columns and all the same results of those transformations as I had before. I can also view this uh, in a few different ways. So on my left hand side here, I've got different tabs that allow me to navigate to different views within the Power BI desktop. I'm currently looking at the report view. I can also look at the data view, and this actually shows me all of the data that's been loaded into the model here. So I'm looking at the date table and I can scroll through um, uh, those, those rows. And if I go to my sales table, I can see actually we loaded 10 million rows from that access, access database. And I can scroll through that 10 million really simply. You know, just drag and I can go and find all that data and just make sure that everything's got loaded. The third tab here is the relationships view. At the moment, you'll see uh, each of the different tables that we pulled in from that access database. And you can see lines between them indicating the relationships between those tables. Now, we automatically detected those from uh, the access database. If you're just connecting to flat files, uh, those things might not have been detected automatically. And later on in another lab, we'll look at uh, managing those relationships in a bit more detail. So the data that we loaded so far was actually sales uh, for within the USA. Now we've also got some international sales in our data here that we want to load. Uh, so I'm gonna go back to our queries and I'm gonna go and connect to some new data. For this example, I'm actually gonna to connect to a folder with a variety of files in them. When I hit connect, I'll be asked to just browse to this folder. And this sort of uh, flow is typical when you've got a set of CSV files maybe that have been exported from a different application or a um, uh, an extract from a database where perhaps you've got a CSV file for each month of data. In this case, we've got one for each country. So we've got one CSV for Canadian sales, one for French, and one for Mexico. Power BI has also got some great tools for manipulating uh, files. So you can see when I connect to this folder, I can see one row for each of the files. I can see things like date modified and date created, uh, attributes that actually come from the, the Windows file system. But I'm interested in the content and I've got a column here for that. I'm actually just gonna remove everything else. That's the only thing I care about in this case. Uh, and I can click this little double arrow icon to say go and actually load the content from those files. We'll do a pretty good job of parsing most things like CSV files or XML or a whole variety of other formats. Um, and of course, now that I've got that data row by row, I can carry on doing other transformations to it. So in this case, uh, what I'd like to do, um, I can see here in this country column, uh, when I open this up, it's actually gonna go and pull the, uh, the values out of that column so that I can check that they're all right. Now it's only loaded a preview, hence it's given me this warning about the list might be incomplete. When I hit load more, it will go and pull in more and more uh, data from those files. And I can see that actually what's happening is it's pulling in the headers as well from the second and third files. And in that case, that row, has got a value of country. Now, obviously that one's no use to us. Uh, we just want the, uh, the rows that have actually got data in it for Canada, France, and Mexico. So that's filtered out those rows. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually combine this international data. Let's give it a name so we know which one we're working with. I'm gonna combine this international data uh, with the uh, other sales data that we had before. So to do that, I'm gonna to come to our sales fact table. This is what we were looking at before. And now up on the home tab, again, I've got uh, on the ribbon here, I've got options to merge these queries together. I actually just wanna append it. So I'm gonna take the existing uh, sales data for the US and then append the international sales to it. So choose that, choose the table that I want to append. So our international sales. And you can see that Power BI has been able to match up most of the columns. So when I scroll through this, I'll see product ID, date, zip, et cetera, that's been filled in for those international sales. Um, but there's an extra country column that it's added. And for the, uh, the, the US sales, currently the country's null. That's because there's no value in there for it. So let's go and fix that as well. Easy way to do this would be just to add a custom column and now I'm gonna write a little expression. So I've got a whole range of expressions that I could use here. Uh, I'm not gonna go into all of that in these labs. Um, you can look up online, there's a very, very powerful language called M behind this. So this formula is just going to say um, that if the country column is null, then fill it in with USA. Otherwise use what was ever in that country column. So if, uh, and then I can use the available columns on the right hand side to fill that in. Uh, if country, 
is null. Then make it USA. Otherwise, use whatever value is in country. It's going to be our country name. And now it's added that column to the data set as well. So I can see for all of these rows that were from our uh, local sales, it's put in USA. And further down, it'll have just reused the country column. So now this country column isn't needed. I can remove that one as well. And now my sales fact table, let's just remove this actually, let's just call it sales. It's got everything I need it in it. It's got the USA sales and it's also got the international sales. So again, I'll come back and click close and apply. And this will start reloading that data. And in fact, you can see here, it's only loading those two tables, uh, the, the ones that have actually been affected by the changes that I made to this query. So it's loaded all those CSV files. And now it will go and reload the, the data out of the access database. And again, rather than waiting for 10 million rows to load, uh, we'll pick this one up again in the next lab.